Hey, what it do, gang? We back, man. Three month puppy update, man. When they come here real quick, I just wanted to show y'all the update of your puppies, man. Hey, Lava Girl, a friend of dad, man. Hey, Space Jam, uh, uh, El Bato Loco, man. It's El Toro Loco, Space Jam, El Toro Loco. Uh, friend of dad, off El Bato Loco. Doubled up on the blood, man. They heavy on the tags, man. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. Got a meal there. He up for sale. Chocolate meal for sale. Yeah, that female there and that black meal there. And two keepers. These two males are available, guys. These two males are available. Y'all look at this nice quality of micro American bullies, man. None of that bullshit. Check them out, man. Look at the dome. Look at the bone. The structure on the boy. The chest spread. Good feet. Rocking and rolling, guys. I'm telling y'all, man, some of the best of the best blood in this world. Yes, sir, right here. Four six finest exotics, man. How this shit popping, dog? Check it out, man. Check out my little two keepers over there, man. Shadow Man and Tatiana. Got Shadow Man and Tatiana. Yeah, our princess and a frog, man. Got that princess and a frog thing going on, man. Got that chocolate male is available. He was the smallest male. Oh, no, this is the, uh, this the male that's available right here. Look at that boy there. That boy there is something serious. I'm telling you, man. That boy there is something serious. Located out here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, shipping is available. Y'all need shipping. Like I said earlier, uh, Lava Girl. Y'all know my girl Lava Girl. Read to uh, front of dad. I post some pictures and videos of the mom and daddy uh, here shortly. Yeah, man, they three months old. Lava Girl is off of Millennium Bloodline Space Jam, owned by RC Muller on Facebook. Y'all go check out Space Jam. Space Jam, he is off of uh, El Toro Loco, out there at St. High, out there at uh, California, man. And then his his brother, El Toro Loco, brother is El Vato Loco, and El Vato Loco is uh, the puppy's dad, grandfather, friend of dad, dad. So I did a nice uh, line breeding. I wanted to lock in some traits, some looks, some genetics, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I get that consistent look. What y'all think, man? Y'all tell me here, man. How'd it turn out? These are the last four puppies that I have. I had seven. Uh, it was two girls gone and a chocolate male gone. My brother got the other chocolate male. Uh, the owner, of friend of dad, uh, I did a put back deal. He got the female, the first big female, little run female. And a chocolate female, she saw she gone. Check them out, man. Some bad ass puppies here, dog. Three months old, her four six finest exotic, man. I told y'all, man. We're gonna keep this shit rocking, we're gonna keep this shit going. I've been in this shit a long time and doing this shit. Started off with pockets, now we down to uh, micro exotics, uh, extreme, big bone, dome. Still want to keep it healthy, functional. You dig what I'm saying? Still can breathe. And run, walk, all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bad ass little puppies here, man. Check out the eyes on that boy there. He gonna be extreme. That boy gonna be girthy. Ooh, he gonna be so girthy and muscular. I can't wait to see how he mature and turn out. Three months old. Uh, they gonna get their ears cropped. Here shortly. Yeah, stay on the lookout for that. Video dropping soon. Y'all see they got them big Frenchy ears sticking up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like how them too. You see how his left ear always stick up and his right ear always stick up. They got the opposite and them two ears both stick up. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy. 
that, but I love it. They mama ears stick up like that, so I already know it's in the blood. They mama ears look, used to look just like this. I had to cut the hush is huge, bro. I'm telling you, but so it's just look at her. <laughs> but yeah, man. You can't keep them ears like that, dog. Nah, not for the show. Like for the house, you know what I'm saying? You just want a house dog, you know, walk around, show off, yeah. But when you want to go in the ring and want your dog to look good, show quality, that's what the ear cropping is really for, guys. I know everybody be wanting to down and talk down on the ear cropping, but, uh, you know, the vets do offer ear cropping here in Texas, man. We stay in Texas, so ear cropping is legal here. I know in some states, uh, y'all look down on it, it's frowned upon because it's illegal there, but here in Texas, it's legal, man. So uh, we don't get in trouble for it. Uh, we go to the vet, get it done. Uh, the only time we get in trouble for it if we get somebody that's not licensed to do it. Okay, you got to be licensed to do it here in the state of Texas, and uh, you're good to go, man. But yeah, we're not uh, getting our dogs took uh, or getting fines or nothing like that for having our dogs' ears cropped. It's just like when Dobermans get their ears cropped, you know, uh, when Rockwallers get their tails docked, you know, certain stuff like that. Uh, it's just it's it's not it's not to harm the dog, man. It's it's to better the dog. It's for it's for a purpose. Uh, when we do that thing, stuff like that, man. But yeah, I just want to get on her real quick and just show y'all something. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't y'all y'all ain't gonna be watching the video that long. I seen on YouTube, man. Right now the attention span is short, man. You know, so I ain't about to sit here and waste my time and make a 30 minute video when I know y'all ain't gonna watch the whole thing. But it's good though, man. Hey, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You dig? We almost at 6K subscribers, man. We almost at 6K subscribers. Um, that's kind of motivating me and uh, inspiring me to get back on this YouTube, man, and, and keep my journey going. I, I kind of got down and almost, you know, wanted to give up and thought, you know, really wasn't doing nothing. But hey, we almost at 6K subscribers. So I really appreciate it. If y'all like this video, share this video, comment down below, man. Let me know what's up uh, for my new followers, new subscribers. You know, I'm T.O. I'm the owner of Red Four Six Finest Exotics. I've been breeding dogs for about five years now. We started off with pockets. Now we're with the micros, exotics, the extremes. Um, I had I done bred down there every color of dog except for black. So this little, I wanted to go black dogs. Uh, I did this breeding for a purpose to get black dogs. I wanted black dogs on my yard. I love black dogs. So that's why this little, we got black dogs. But I promise you these will carry chocolate. Uh, they will throw tries. You breed to the right dogs, man. You're going to get the color. That color is not going to work because my, uh, this is the generation of my blood. It just had color in it all over it. So so you don't have to worry about uh, not, not being able to produce color just because you got, uh, just because you get a black dog. And this chocolate butter, he definitely going to produce color. I'm telling you, man, it's in his blood. He going to produce all type of color. Blue tries, chocolate tries, lilacs. All that, you feel what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned for that, man. We got some shit in the works, shit in the making. I got a uh, lava girl, they, they mama will get bred again this summer, and then they sister, Latte, will get bred. I'll do two more breeds this year. Uh, Latte is lava girl, is they, is they mama, little mate sister, and I'm gonna breed her. She's a chocolate try. I, I'm gonna get some videos of her. I'm gonna show y'all her. Uh, and we, we got some more micro exotics coming, man. Two more litters this year will be dropping for shit show. Uh, we're gonna make sure we lock that in. Then I got this view. After I do them two, man, I'm gonna take a little break on breeding. I'm gonna get to uh, pro promote my studs, uh, my new stud here. Uh, I'm gonna have to promote him and get, get him working, man. So I'm gonna lay off on the breedings for a little bit because I need to get my stud game up to get start promoting my studs better. So we just start going to shows. I got to start training. So I'm going to do some more training videos like I used to get my, uh, get him back show ready. So when he pop up and be ready, he's show ready. He can hit the shows. He can stack up. We're going to be doing um, all type of competitions with him. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're back on the scene, man. We're back on the grind. Yes, sir. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all stay tuned. Turn that post notification bell on. And it's on. Goddamn me. Yes, sir. Let's go. Up all the way, baby. See y'all on the next one.